Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about a more serious topic. You may have deep emotional issues that you have laid hidden. And no, you don't need to go through a traumatic event or big tragedy for this to happen. It could be a lot of small things. And you may not need deep counseling or anything like that to get through them. But these things may be holding you back or these things may be affecting you. And I think it's very important because in this society, uh, especially certain things in modern society with corporations and commercials and how people portray how girls should be, how popular they should be, how they should look, on and on and on, you can very much be pressured in to pursuing things, chasing things that won't actually bring you happiness or make you someone that you don't want to be or affect you in a variety of ways. I mean, um, you know, a great example is the United States of America. Despite it being one of the most prosperous countries to ever exist in history, if you check its happiness index, it is not even close to number one. So there's a lot of things going on that's affecting us harshly. And it can be things like... Um, you wanting to look a certain way and starving yourself to look a certain way or you thinking that you can't be a certain person because of culture or you have to pers perform a certain way because that's what it, what's expected or uh, you know your penis has to be this length or it's you know it, it's horrendous and you should be uh, shamed for that so there's a lot of things that can come about for both genders that's are uh, roots to being sh embarrassed or shamed because that's what culture or society thinks you should be. And this can hold you back in a lot of ways or it can make you do things or pursue things that aren't interesting or really something that's um, fulfilling or of value. I mean, it could be all these, all, all sorts of problems. Uh, sexuality problems. It could be things like perhaps you think that this money or this person with status or this person is what's going to fulfill you. And then when, if you ever get that, uh, some people don't. They spend years chasing that. If you ever do, you can end up in a situation that's just not right. Or you can end up in things that are just barring you from achieving the goals that you want. And you don't know that these things are affecting you because uh, it's all unconscious. Things like um, perhaps you're struggling in dating or meeting people or talking to people. And it, it could be a variety of issues. Sexual shame because of religion or commitment issues, vulnerability issues, trust issues because of... Um, it doesn't necessarily... It could be a traumatic event in your past, but it could be a small number of small events. Um, maybe lack of friends or other things that added up and cause you to have problems either being vulnerable or uh, not not giving yourself enough credit and um, always beating yourself up and having low self-esteem or being very untrustful with a girl or being very sexual and constantly cheating on that person. Or perhaps, I mean, I've seen a lot of these just observing people. Um, you, have, you may have issues with... Um, dating or intimate relationships so you either flee to only short-term things to cover that up or you have deep issues when you're interacting with someone you're serious with I mean it could be a variety of things heck you could just be someone who um, I mean there's a variety of outlets but two of the big ones is you you overcompensate either out of lack of self-esteem or to cover up or you shy away and hide from all that. And these can be problems. And I think this is something that it's okay to acknowledge and realize because a lot of people who are successful, they have been and experienced these things. Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah Winfrey, just quote talk show host because that's what I want to do today. Um, but there's numerous examples out of talk show hosts. They both went through abusive sexual relationships I, I've done videos on them um, and they 
overcame that and accepted it and came to terms with it and um, became good people and overcame that through time. And so you have to realize that it's not the end of the world, but um, it's a very tough thing addressing these things and moving through them. You know, if you've had a very traumatic incident where uh, you were cheated on uh, very horrendously by a female or a male, and it was just a horrendous experience, especially when you're young, that can leave a huge imprint on you. And you may be overcompensating or shying away or acting very strange because of that. Uh, it could be a whole variety of things. I mean, some people, they bounce back from that because it's not a big problem. For others, it could be a deeper issue at hand. Perhaps you, you know, it was a, and not only did she cheat on you, but she did it with your best friend who, um, who was going to be your best man at a wedding. And this girl was supposed to be your fiance. These things happen and those can leave traumatic um, effects on you. And so, I mean, you know, these things actually happen, believe it or not. So I think uncovering that and working with it and um, really facing it and not hiding away from it and trying to solve it. Um, and I think there's, you know, I mean, if you can afford therapy, that could help. But some of these things I do think that um, if you can address them and figure out how they are hampering you or stopping you this may need some objective perspectives from friends or people you trust um, if you can find support networks or friends or people that can support you family and uh, you, you really f if you can find people who have objective lenses that aren't biased or have ulterior motives you know sometimes family friends you can't really tell them about this stuff but it can very much help you because uh, if you can address how these things are coming up to uh, stop you from your goals, you can fix them and work towards um, moving towards what you want. Perhaps uh, your erratic behavior. I mean, a lot of very uh, wild sexual behavior all, all the time may be due to deeper issues at hand. So really just figure this out and realize that there's so many people out there who are um, going through the same thing and not realizing it and scared to face it. And it's a brave thing to do to start working on this because you will come out a better person because of that. And 